Now the same concept of capturing screen movement within Google Earth Pro can be applied to progressively more complex navigation. So for instance, if you wanted to not only fly into Milwaukee, but fly out of Chicago and into Milwaukee and record that, you could zoom into Chicago, add a place mark just like we did for Milwaukee, press the record tour button, press record, click on Milwaukee, that will initiate a flyout from Chicago to Milwaukee while we are recording the tour. Once that fly-in is complete, click the record button again to stop recording the tour. That will automatically initiate a replay of the tour in Google Earth. Once that tour is done replaying, and provided you like the way it looks, make sure you click save. That will save the tour. Now you guys know the rest of the steps from part one of this series, but just to recap, once you've saved that tour, it'll appear in the left-hand side of your screen in that Places panel. Close the Google Earth Player, click on the tour you just saved, click Tools, click Movie Maker. That is how you export the saved tour as a video that you can then share or that you can then further edit in your own video editor. So hopefully by now you've grasped the concept of how to create a tour and make a video from that tour using Google Earth Pro. But if not, the next two parts of this series will show again how to run through that process with progressively more complex navigation.